Hello world, this is Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of geek news, product views, and answers that you can use, like the answer to the question, what the hell was that sound that was coming from the background where my wife happens to be, uh, right when I started to stream, and a few seconds after I said, shh, her phone went, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> so one thing I wish they could do on the iPhone, that's the one thing I want, in the next iOS is the ability to turn off the Siri sound. Because in the middle of the night, you know, when I'm feeling insomniatic, uh, I'll just hold on to the, the phone and accidentally hold it too long, and then it'll do that. And then Diana will wake up and get mad at me and say, What are you doing, baby? And I think my body is getting me prepared for the baby. You know, getting me used to waking up in the middle of the night. So I will be ready to go. Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Even though we already have started 660 patrons today, uh, we jumped by over 10. And you know what I attribute this to? Doing the exclusive videos that I've been doing. I think enough people wanted to watch my Samsung Galaxy S5 review, which at this point, I don't know if I'm going to make public. I mean, that may just be a, a patron exclusive uh, forever because it worked, obviously. And if people cared enough, uh, they would, you know, if they won't really want to see it, it's kind of like, I really want a banana. Oh, I want a banana so badly, but I don't want to pay for the banana. But I want the banana. If you want the banana, you can have the banana. I am offering you my bananas. Thank you for joining me live if you are lucky enough to have tuned in this afternoon. Really appreciate your support. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this screen right now so it doesn't distract people, uh, even though it usually would distract me. I uh, have to make note of something that we put in our vlog the other day, and I definitely want to make sure you guys take advantage of this because uh, I, I worked pretty hard to get it set up for you guys. HuluPlus.com slash Chris. I will put that link for you in the video description. It's a two-week trial for Hulu Plus. The last time we talked about it, this was a few months ago, in the vlog, really, uh, we had a lot of people try it, but not a lot of people really wanted to stick with Hulu Plus. And I, I'd be curious as to know why, because once I started going with Hulu Plus, I cannot imagine my life without it because it's just like having access immediate access to all the shows that I normally can't get to with the same degree of ease so I really appreciate having Hulu Plus uh, and you might as well uh, just try it for a couple weeks it's a free trial and maybe uh, you'll you'll remain a Hulu Plus subscriber this is not vodka right hun okay it's not vodka it is water that happens to taste like vodka <laughs> no I'm I'm kidding there really no or am I I, I may be kidding, I may not be. Uh, so, we've been doing something for everybody, and I really do need your feedback on this. Uh, you've been to LockerGnome.com, I assume, at least once in your lifetime, and if, if not, just pretend like you have. We post uh, uh, some, some pretty cool stuff, and we've been kind of ramping up what we're posting, what we're sharing, very visual, very geeky in nature. Uh, for example, uh, did you know that, uh, you know, I don't know, do you guys remember what these things are? Do you, honey, do you know what they are? Nintendo cartridges oh, yeah. and there's an artist out there who basically customizes classic NES cartridges and makes it look like artwork as if you had that game as if the game existed on the NES the original Nintendo Entertainment System and you could actually get these things it was kind of neat I'm thinking about it you know getting a little uh, the the Return of the Jedi uh, custom Nintendo cartridge with Darth Vader on the front of it because it's kind of a collectible either way uh, what I wanted to let you know is that uh, we're going to try to be posting 10 awesome things there every day. And is this something you guys want? I mean, hey, here's the thing. I know you guys send me this stuff all the time. You tweet it all the time. So I figured, well, why don't we just turn Locker Gnome into a discovery awesomeness platform for geeks and nerds? And I even linked off to Goat Simulator today. It's I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, as well as a place where you can get goat ears because it's goat week. On Locker Gnome, and I have decided, this is the official decree, next week is going to be Creeper Week on Locker Gnome. We're going to find awesome media related to Creepers. Oh yeah, I found these too. Look, Mario Luigi slippers. Because <laughs> you know, your your footwear sucks right now. Just go ahead and look. Admit it. It, it sucks. And, and it's okay to admit, my, my footwear sucks too. Look at that. Wouldn't it be better if I had Mario on the front of it? Yeah. I'm guessing uh, the answer is yes. Uh, so take a look. We're, 
we're trying to redefine what Locker Gnome is. And, and the, you know, of course, if you find something that's is cool, share it with other people. It doesn't do me any good to just put it there if you guys don't want to share it. But I'm assuming you guys would want to share half this stuff because you'd find it fun and interesting and geeky and different and unique and fun. So uh, yeah, take a look, give us your feedback. We're, we're going to do our best to refine what Locker Gnome is based on your needs. Uh, I've already gone into depth on why I'm never going to cover a tech news on Locker Gnome again because no one ever read it. So, I mean, haha, read it, get it, read it. Um, no, one, no one ever bothered reading those articles. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just put it in TLDR. Like the news of X-Men, Days of Future Past, opening battle scene, now available, you can watch the opening scene. So awesome. Uh, I have not seen Captain America in theaters yet, but I'm likely willing to see X-Men in theaters. The Days of Future Past. It looks very, very interesting. A lot of people liked uh, Captain America. I'm just not sure I want to spend $30 on seeing it in the theater when I can spend the same money on actually owning like the disc or the ability to watch it at any time. I can, I can, I can be patient and wait. Google has launched a standalone camera app in the Play Store. Now, see, why would I have bothered to write that in an article when I could just easily tell you, here's my Nexus 5, oh, guess I'm swiping open that way. All right, well, let me try it again. Oh, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to treat the Nexus 5 like it was the iPhone. I didn't need to go that far. I just need to press the button and slide it over. There we go. This is the camera app that you can download for Android, and it's got this nice little feature, if I slide out the menu over here, called Lens Blur, and that uh, allows you effectively to take a picture of your subject and then move the camera ever so slightly, see if, it, see if I can do it from this side. If I move it up like that, what it'll do, theoretically, is it'll make me in focus and then set the background out of focus. And it works better when you've got something that is uh, far more in-depth than Chris Perillo, at least with me in the background here. So uh, this is nice. They've basically taking, taken the quote-unquote Android camera and made it a standalone app. And by doing that, the nice thing is, let's say you have an old version of, uh, of Android on your phone and you wanted the latest camera features, now you could have that with the abstracted version of Google's camera. So uh, check it out. It, of course, is free and, quote-unquote, naturally only available for Android. I've got the direct link for you as well as the other links that I'm talking about here in the video's description. Now I know what you're saying. But, Chris, I don't have Android. I know that's exactly what you sound like. In my head, I don't have Android. I have iOS. <sighs> you only talk about Android. Really? Because I'm about to tell you that <laughs> there's a new app from Google. You know, the same folks that bring you Android. Available for iOS. You've heard of a Google Hangout. Well, this is called Google Helpout. And even though I have a uh, the link in, in, in my notes here, I haven't actually downloaded it on my computer, my pocket computer here, my iPhone. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, had pressure built up in my ears and apparently in my nose. Sorry about that, Wicket. Uh, Google now has an app called Helpouts, and let me help you see this a little better there. Google Helpouts, right there. I know that's a even dimmer. God, can I find a happy medium? Like a happy medium, like going and finding the future, but if they're sad, it's a sad medium. You're know, like, I can see I can see your future. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's great. But they'd be a sad medium instead of a happy medium. <clears throat> this is what sneezing does to you. Puts your brains, scrambles them all up. You know, I Okay, help out is something you can download for iOS. If you were looking for help, in a category, say like you wanted to learn about photography, but you didn't know who to talk to, Google has a service where they will connect you with quote unquote experts in their community. And so you can be an expert. You can actually sell your expertise if you want. And what's the point of having an internet connection if all you're doing is just enjoying yourself? You know, some of us use it to work like me. Oh, I'm working right now. I know it may not seem like it, but damn, that sneeze really threw me off and I'm all mooked up. Uh, so check this out. If you want to have on-demand help from people inside, uh, not, you don't have to work for Google. Let me clarify that. You can be, let's see here, I think they've got like a variety of, of categories here. Computers and electronics, get help from that. Not like many of you need that. Art and music, cooking, education and careers, fashion and beauty, fitness and nutrition. So uh, maybe uh, what, what Diana could you know sign up for this and, and help you get dressed in the morning. 
She won't do that, though. She, she believes you should wear whatever you want to wear, including Mario and Luigi slippers, if you so choose. Uh, Christopher McAuliffe says she, he, sorry, I'm sorry, you're not a she, Christopher. He says that he loves Diana. Aww. I don't know how, it's just, that's, we, we like Chris, we tolerate Chris, we love Diana. I think that's <laughs> really the mantra everybody has. So check it out, Google Help Outs, a free app available on iOS for those of you who need help. Via patron Matthew Almoni. Uh, he, he had uh, pointed this out. I, I saw this news yesterday, but to put a finer point on it, Amazon is merging Kindle documents and Cloud Drive with 10 gigs of combined free storage. Um, I've had an Amazon Cloud Drive for quite some time. I have uh, pretty much all of the MP3s I ever had in my entire life, and there weren't a lot of them on Amazon because I can get to it from anywhere, iOS, Android, etc. But I just don't think Amazon software experience is all that great when it comes to managing data. Now, I know they got the Cloud Drive app they just updated. Uh, I realize you can store your photos there, but it's just they, they haven't quite figured out like how to make it usable for consumers. And that's what keeps me from going full bore into it. However, that may be interesting to you. If you happen to be a Kindle Fire, I'm sorry, just a Kindle, document user uh, you didn't need the fire necessarily you could use the the regular old kindle the classic kindle thing that i've got right i don't even think this is the it shows you how much i use the kindle right there <laughs> it's been that way i think ever since i got it yeah, right there i need to recharge it don't ask me why because i would never use it because uh, I'm, I'm just not i I'm, I'm not the demo for this i other people are it's great it's a great device for what it is uh so 10 gigs combined free storage amazon.com slash cloud drive in case you needed more online storage for free via patron matthew almoni again you're gonna be tired of his name but in a good way today because this guy he was on it he like picked out news that i would want to talk about in tldr and i'm like wow yeah you treasure trove i even told him that did i just put my hand in the snot I knew something flew out. I just didn't know where it went. That's on... No, that was water. Oh. Uh, Chrome Remote Desktop app has exited beta, controlling your computer on any ice cream sandwich and above device. So you can uh, get the Chrome Remote Desktop app for Google Chrome, like your desktop web browser, uh, you know, with the, the plugins and extensions and everything. Or you could also download it uh, to your Android device, which I thought I did. The Nexus 5 is kind of my stage... For this kind of stuff because it's a clean experience i like oh you're right, right there remote desktop my computers i have no computers registered sucks to be me but it's now exited beta if you want to control uh your computers remotely you could use google's software and uh you know why not that's really I, my question to you why not if you use google chrome if you have an android device give it a shot no it's not available on ios before you ask there are alternatives for ios and for os 10 as well um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, ooh, Samsung is potentially, allegedly, going to be rolling out a Tizen smartphone in Q2 this year. That's coming up. That's, like, within the next few months. So instead of getting a Samsung product running Android, you'll have a full-on Samsung experience, which, to me, it, I'm not gonna say is exciting, it is compelling. Because when Samsung controls the hardware, the software, the services, the entire experience, it should make for a better product. I really do believe that. So uh, do not count Tizen out of the race. Do not count Samsung out of the race. I, I don't know if and when they will drop Android. It is my guess that if they get enough industry support with Tizen, and it's a possibility because Samsung's a juggernaut. <clears throat> Let me try that word again. Juggernaut. Uh, in the industry, really, uh, you know, big player. I think they have a chance uh, to, to really make Tizen take off, even in the smartphone space. I know some people say, no, no, nothing's ever going to beat Android. Well, you know what? They said the same thing about Windows. And look what happened to that. You know, that's, you just never count them out. And I think Samsung certainly has a possibility, given that it has uh, some of the, the world's leading Android devices. All they have to do is just do a couple of tweaks, and most people would have no idea they've switched. They would just be on Tizen all of a sudden with their new smartphone from Sam Samsung. They trust Samsung. They don't necessarily know Android. This is why Google has enforced the powered by Android type of logo, especially during boot screens on some of those devices. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Where you see the vlogs, Locker No, many years ago. What? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but the vlogs are in the other channel. We have two channels now. This one's for Geek Lifestyles. Oh, uh, speaking of Geek Lifestyles. I, I, I threw the idea out to patrons. I, I want to do other content. I want to do more video stuff. I really do. 
but I, I, I gotta know what more video stuff you want me to do most. I have an idea of what I'd like to do, and it, it probably is going to come to a, an extreme disappointment to, to many people. Uh, you are going to see in this channel, warning, warning, you will see more LEGO stuff in this channel. Uh, that that is absolutely going to happen as soon as I do that workflow. Um, but you know, if if I'm doing tech stuff, I don't know what it's uh, necessarily going to be. You know, outright, it, it may very well be uh, showcasing a device, not really doing a review, but kind of doing you know something fancy with it. If I do a review from this point on, I may do it the same way I did the Samsung Galaxy S5, with a little bit of beer and exclusive to patrons. That way, I don't get any of the hate. And I make people happy. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the list of names to give credit to the patrons who are at that level. Um, and if you want to have your website featured in every TLDR, you can become a patron at a certain level. And I would certainly appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> so, I think... Oh, Chris, uh, Connie asks, is the Amazon wish list for you and Diana updated? Should be. We have to, you know, get working on our uh, baby registry, though. Big time. Uh, we, 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 we know we want dark furniture. We figured out the, the crib bed situation and the drawer situation. Uh, we, we have to, we don't know what else we're going to need for the baby yet. No. We got a lot of onesies, I can tell you that. Child is going to be very well dressed. Mm -hmm. Don't know what we're going to feed it yet. <laughs> I think that's your department, hon. I cannot lactate. Knowingly. If I, if I lactated, <laughs> I, I, pr I will lactate when we hit a thousand patrons. There's, there's my promise. I can't. I was crossing my fingers. I can't lactate. Or I probably could. Okay, I'm moving on. You never know what you're going to get in a, a, a TLDR, really. Uh, that's what happens when you put Chris live in front of a video camera. Mm. So, uh, I, you know, I, I, I think what I'm going to do with the videos is just try to get them done, put them out there, see how people react. Instead of just... Because if I do a poll, the problem is I'm asking the current community, which is a great community, but it may limit my reach. I want to get out to the other geeks. I want to get to, to to more Lego geeks and more Star Wars geeks and more sci-fi geeks and more comic geeks and more, you know, different geeks, right? Because it's a, it's a big, wide world of, of geekery, and, and we all enjoy being ourselves, <clears throat> especially when you watch Chris Perillo sneeze live on YouTube. Try, yeah, try getting that on TV, unless you're watching me on TV. In which case, I hope I had a really bassy effect when I expelled snot. About 37% of the roughly 781 million games registered to various Steam accounts, 37% uh, of them have not been loaded a single time, according to this journalist from Ars Technica. So you know it's a good resource for information. Ars Technica is one of my uh, most treasured and valued resources uh, for uh, general geekery, in, at least in the tech space. 37% never played once. Wow. It's kind of like uh, the uh, uh, the idea that, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the phone here, all the apps you have, how many of them do you use on a regular basis? I can tell you this. I, I have apps on this phone that I just never use. Like, I didn't even get the Help Outs app because I, I probably would never use it. I'm not, I'm not a prime target for it. Ooh, Instagram has an update. Cool. Oh, I've already updated it. Never mind. Oh, you should see the thing that I did Instagram. This was kind of funny. Um, I showed these in the poly bag yesterday, but now they've been posted to Instagram and Facebook. And see, it's it's TC4 and Bilbo Baggins. It's Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. You guys ever saw the Leonard Nimoy Bilbo Baggins song? That'll destroy an afternoon and a childhood. Uh, now, Alex uh, Vizzini in the uh, live comment stream on YouTube there uh, is talking about uh, uh, something that I, I generally don't like to cover, and that is like rumors, especially in relation to hardware. I don't like talking about it. Uh, their suggestion is that the next iPhone is going to be different. I don't think that should come to a shock to anybody, but I don't think we should really dive too deeply into it or pay too much attention to it because what's the point? Well, and it will end up getting everybody's mood elevated, and then it ships, and then everyone's disappointed based on rumors, and then everyone blames Apple when you should be blaming the people who spread rumors. I don't like I don't like that. And I try my best. I try my best to stay away from that kind of stuff, especially when it's uh, under a, a high level of scrutiny and speculation. What's the point? I don't I don't like covering it. It's a, it's a waste. It, it just serves to diminish the value of covering things that I think are worth covering. Right? Actual investigative journalism. You know, coming in and suggesting 37% of the 781 million games on Steam have never been played. That's a big ouch. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick in my screensaver here now that you know for a fact that you can sign up to be a patron on chrisperillo.com. Geek news for Diana. From Guillaume Van Rixtel. A wear device allows customers to buy the exact item they spot on the street. So how's that for technology? Cool. Kind of neat. Uh, so the idea is that you could point, you know, your phone or whatever, and you, you get a picture of something that someone's wearing. And see, I, you do that, and then all of a sudden you could buy it. That'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it? Yeah. Tra transforming lives. What Diana would probably do is take a picture of some something that someone's wearing and then post it to the uh, that's hideous dot com website. No. I thought you were gonna say take a picture of something someone's eating. Oh, Diana would take a picture of something that somebody's eating. Yes, uh, I would be more inclined to uh, post a picture of someone after they were done eating and it didn't get fully digested. Ew. Yeah, I know, but I'm just kind of crazy that way so uh interesting technology uh, you know and, and that to me when, when we start talking about th these types of uh technologies like i guess what a aware um is is intending their embedded chips to enable uh you know it's getting technology out of our hands and into our life and that's where it becomes truly transformative would you do that if you saw you, well you've done it before you, you've seen a purse that you liked you know you, as a woman would you go up and, and ask like where can i get that They, they ask you? Wait, were they girls or guys? Because if it was guys, they would be hitting on you. <laughs> oh, that's a great purse. Uh, my girlfriend, I mean, I'm, I don't have a girlfriend, but if I had a girlfriend, I'd buy it for her. Yeah. And then they hide their wedding ring. I, I don't know. <laughs> they're hitting on you. Or like a lipstick they're wearing. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine being able to get the exact item like that. Yeah. Instantaneous. Commercialism. Is there anything you can't do i well no not in my mind I, i'm a fan of commercialism give me plastic graphene this is the thing you want to talk about what's up and coming graphene uh this is i would say no joke as much as plastics revolutionized things for us graphene is going to do the same thing for the types of technology and applications that we have in and around us um amazing amazing stuff that's right now just in, kind of just in the, the, the bubbling stages. Uh, we haven't really seen anything you know, mass produced with graphene, uh, but it is right there ready to, I would say, transform the world around us. I've even seen, and I don't know if graphene's necessarily powered it, but you know, you've seen the, the futuristic type of videos where you look at a, a window that's a clear window and it looks, you can touch it and interact with it and you can see through it, but still interact with it. That's coming. Graphene is one of those technologies that's going to help make it possible. And, this is the kicker, more affordable. So we're going to have better technology, faster technology, and it's going to be more affordable. Yeah, that's a, to me, that's a killer combo right there. And I, I know that uh, some people you know, disagree and they want to spend a ton of money on their, um, their stuff. Do you, you like spending a lot on your technology? I don't. I'm not a fan of that. I'll spend money on bananas. Not really, because I have oral allergy syndrome, and I can't. Uh, let's see here. What else is in the news today before I uh, cover what I wanted to talk about in the separate video for today, the uh, What Would You Do video? Google Plus pages with 1,000 plus followers can now create plus post ads, promote hangouts on air, and automatic posts. Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't know if... Uh, if we're going to be doing that, but I know that the uh, the Locker Gnome page on Google Plus has, I think it's got like 10,000 subscribers or followers or whatever. Uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, we, we'll see about, uh, you know, trying that. I don't know if we're really doing a lot of Hangouts on air, though, with Google Plus. It's one of the bigger values of using Google Plus. I do, on, on average, I do just one Hangout a month with uh, patrons at a certain tier or higher. This weekend is likely the next uh, patron Google Plus Hangout that we're going to do with Barnacles over here. It'll be kind of like an after the show. I think it's a great time to do it, and, and Jerry would love meeting you, and, and I know you would probably love meeting Jerry. It's, it's one of the best if only the only collaborative effort uh, that we've uh, uh, that I've ever done with another YouTuber, and that was uh, kind of nice. Matthew Almoni, boy, Matthew's a rock star. He pointed something out that I did. This did hit my radar today. Uh, the first Heartbleed attacker has been arrested in Canada. Nineteen year old. Now he's he's pretty much. I would say he's probably lost uh, everything. Uh, yikes! Wow. Okay. Just because there's an exploit doesn't mean you should you know poke your hole in it. 
I poke your hole in it. Poke your finger in the hole. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't. Hey, you know what? Now he's got to pay the piper. Uh, what are you? What are you gonna do? I. I mean, he was doing it to say he did it. Oh, bad idea. Uh, he went after um, the uh, the resource Canada uses to collect tax information. So he's gathering information surreptitiously and violating this particular exploit. And and likely the process has, has probably destroyed his own life. I, I don't know if it was really worth it. Yeah, but it's not me. It's not my life. What are you going to do? 19 years old. 19 years old. And obviously just, you know, when you can do that stuff with code, man, I mean, you're skilled. I mean, you could, you could write your own future. Not that way, though, man. Not that way. I would hope that if you guys had that ability and promise, uh, you could do something to help uh, in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, I don't know if, if that was really done to, to, to help. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. So I, I got my own feelings about that, but that's that's really, that's, that's, that's kind of sad. I spent four hours talking about Heartbleed with my parents last night. It was fun to talk about it and try to tell them, well, no, it's good to update your passwords and use a password manager, which I think I've recommended now for them one password. It's what I use cross-platform. I'm sorry, I spit on the lens. I just cleaned this today, too. Yeah. Do I look smudgy over here? If I do, just let me know. Uh, <clears throat> yes, thank you for uh, mentioning that. A couple uh, spare headlines here. I'm going to go ahead and start winding down... I'm going to go ahead and hang on. I'm, I, why do I say hang on? Because I have to switch and do things. I'm saying hang on. You wait, wait, <laughs> wait. My what would you do today is going to be answering. I saw it here a couple minutes ago before broadcasting. I thought it was a good question. Aaron Linson asks, if the iPhone, iOS, and Apple started to decline in support, innovation, features, etc., what would you do? Uh, and that's a good question to be able to answer, and that's what I'm going to address in a separate video for patrons only, live on YouTube. It'll be unlisted, so they'll be able to see it, and if you want to know the answer to the question, well, you know what you got to do. Uh, thank you, everybody, for sharing stories with me uh, today, especially uh, Matthew. Uh, I don't know how the hell... He found some good ones, good gems, including ones that I, I forgot were even happening. I see a lot of stuff floating across my desk on a, on a daily basis. So sometimes I, have to, I act as a filter, like what do I find most interesting to talk about, uh, at least in, in, in this particular realm. I realized we didn't have a product view today, uh, didn't really have anything come across my desk. Sorry. If I disappointed you, uh, I, I will do better, hopefully tomorrow. If not, I will try to do better. And if I did disappoint you, I'm sorry, if I didn't disappoint me... Uh, You know, I wasn't disappointed with myself up until this point. If I didn't disappoint you, uh, just give me another day. I'm sure I will do it. I promise I will disappoint you. I am human. So are you. Thanks again for remembering to like, comment, share, subscribe, watch even more of our videos right now. I do appreciate the support. And at this point in time, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. <clears throat> and clear my throat. We'll eat you later.